Hey everyone, Queso Man Rolls here. Well, Windows 7 is an excellent operating system and is very useful and has all these things that we never had before. It is missing one thing that I still wish that it had that actually Mac OS X does have, and that's the expose feature. The closest thing that we get in Windows is the Flip 3D feature, as you can see right here. It just flips through all the windows we have open right now. I've just opened a bunch for the purposes of this tutorial. And, um, it's useful, but it doesn't really show, um, like, all the different things you have open. You can't see them all at one time, and while it does look pretty, it's not entirely functional. But now, there is a third-party software program that you can have running when you turn your system on that will pretty much replace the Flip 3D feature and replace it with something much more functional than it is. It's called Switcher, and it's pretty much the expose equivalent for Windows. As you can see, I just initiated it right here, and it can just flip through all my different things that I have open right now. I just have a few different windows open. I have Firefox, Email Client, Windows Explorer, I have a Group Shark Prism app, a note for myself, and another Explorer window. So you can just flip through right here and just go, and whatever one you want to go to, just press enter, and it pops up, and all the other ones go back to its previous position. So it's very, very, very useful and very, very easy. So I'm going to show you guys where to download it, how to get it, and how to set it up. So first you're going to, of course, need to open up Firefox because we're going to need to download it. And you're going to need to go to this website right here. Link will be in the description in sendpient.net. It's a little confusing of a name for a domain, but... And this will bring you to the switcher for Windows. It says Vista, but it also works flawlessly in Windows 7. Um, so you can go ahead and just click download right there and begin the download and it's really simple installed just like everything else there's really no point in doing it since I've already installed it and you guys know how to install a program pretty easy stuff so after you've got it what you need to do is um, open it up so we can um, start customizing it so this is the customization window right here you have a lot of different options um, you can just fiddle around with them and see what you like I'm gonna show you guys exactly how mine are set up so that you get it when you do the um, feature, you get the exact results right here like this. So, um, under general, I like to use the dock feature. You can also do the grid or tile feature. The grid feature looks like this. When you do mouse over them, they do have these ugly overlays in my opinion, but um, I don't generally mouse over them. I use my keyboard. There's also the tile option, which is like that. So. Um, but I like the dock so that it makes it so that they all go to one side of the screen and I've chosen the right, but you can make the top or however you want and then you can scroll through them. So um, I've chosen the right, as I just said, uh, for the dock and um, when I select a window I want it to end the switcher session so when I, you know, click one it won't go, everything on the side goes away. I set it to start when I turn on the computer and I do not want the tray icon because that's more than a waste of space. Um, I do want the desktop in the background, I'm assume, assuming you do too. Um, I would definitely suggest turning the brightness all the way up to 100%. That makes it so that when you're scrolling through them, there's no dark overlay in the background that for some reason I like to put there. And I notice that when you do have the brightness down, it tends to lag a little bit in the transitions, but brightness up makes it like normal. Um, I left the window and animation speeds the same, I didn't change those at all. Window style, I unchecked all this junk because they're just the strange overlays and stuff. It gets rid of most of the stuff, but that's something that I don't like about it. I just want to see the windows. I don't want to see anything telling me what it is because I know what it is. Um, filters, I left the stuff the same. Shortcuts, this is where you can choose your own keyboard shortcuts, like how you want to initiate it. For this tutorial, I changed it to Control Tab so I can show you the Flip 3D. But normally, I have it set as Win Tab, which is the Flip 3D. Um, hotkey, so it just overtakes that so that you don't use that feature anymore. Whenever you use that hotkey, it'll go to switcher instead. I didn't use a mouse shortcut. I have in the past, though. I tried it right after I got it. I don't particularly like it because I'll notice myself accidentally coming up here and then it will initiate it, and sometimes I don't want that, especially when I'm playing video games. It'll still happen and it'll, like, get out of the game, which is an incredible pain. So I don't use that. And under advanced, I didn't touch a thing. I just left that stuff alone. And that's how I got the settings that I got. So it's a really, really simple and, but at the same time, incredibly useful and good-looking program that allows you to be very functional with your windows that you have open, especially if you usually have a lot open. And um, Flip 3D looks nice, but isn't really functional. This is definitely both.
And um, this is actually more customizable than the expose feature in um, OS X, so I, you're almost getting a plus here. So um, I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, guys, on how to use Switcher, an expose feature for Windows. So this has been a Case of Manuals tutorial, and I'll see you guys next time.